Hello everybody, Asian KB, Analyst KB, The Big KB, K Dream Barrage, Chief Analyst, I, I, whatever whatever you want to call me. But I'm back, and I'm back with the NFL Week 3 predictions. So let's get into it. But before we get into the picks, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys the standings. So, at the bottom uh, is Judd with 13. In these first two weeks, he has went 13 of 32. I don't think I've ever seen of anything on YouTube or anything for weekly predictions. I start that bad. You're, the judge is doing worse than a 50-50 chance. And that's just not good. That's not good at all. In fourth, it is Richie at 15. How is someone, how, how does Judd, who watches football, like he watches the NFL every single weekend, Every single Sunday, he watches it. How is he below by two games to Richie, who can't name 10 NFL players? I, I don't know. It is beyond me. Uh, third is Drew with 20. So there, there's a sizable gap between uh, the bottom two and then Drew with 20. He is in third. Uh, yeah. I mean, he really doesn't watch football either, but he, he, he knows about the game. And tied for second is me and my mom with 21. She has copied my picks. Uh, that's why she is tied for me with second. And first is Tyler with 22. He doesn't pick up sets, so this doesn't really count. Uh, next week, I will be in first. Don't worry. For the Thursday night football game, Jets and Patriots. Uh, this was unanimous. Everyone picked the Jets. Uh, the Jets have been looking pretty suspicious, though. The Patriots have been surprisingly competitive. I thought they were going to be a bottom three team in the NFL. But they're actually 1-1. One one. They have the same record as the 49ers. Let that sink in. I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, that's crazy, ain't it? That's crazy. But yeah, it was unanimous, so whatever, I guess. Next game, Browns versus Giants. The only person, and this is carrying over from week two, the only person who picked the Giants was Richie. I, I don't know how he does it. Like, he doesn't know other people's picks. He has no clue what the other people pick. He just consistently, without fail, without a shadow of a doubt, picks terrible teams. He picks the Giants. I mean, Browns aren't that good either. I mean, they're an above-average team, but the Giants are a bottom three team, but whatever. For my next game, Eagles and Saints. people pick the Eagles over the Saints, who have been looking really good. Uh, those people are me, my mom, Tyler, and Richie. People who picked the Saints are Drew and Judd. Next game, Texans and Vikings. The people who pick the Texans are me, my mom, Judd, and Richie. People who pick the Vikings are Drew and Tyler. Now, quick disclaimer, for the rest of the NFL season, I will not be picking the Vikings because they ruined my uh, weekend. Uh, it's just a terrible loss from the 49ers. Terrible, putrid, disgusting, vile. Every word, you can say it. It's disgusting. Next game, Buccaneers and Broncos. The only person who picked the Broncos was Drew. Everyone else picked the Buccaneers. Uh, Buccaneers have looked really good. Broncos have not. So I don't know what Drew's doing there. Next game, Titans versus Packers. This one split. The people who picked the Titans are me, my mom, and Drew. People who picked the Packers are Judd, Tyler, and Richie. Uh, I just like the Titans to get their first one of the season against Malik Willis, who he did win against the Colts last week. But I think it's a flick. Malik Willis is not a good quarterback. Next game, Colts versus Bears, a rematch for the 2006 Super Bowl, Super Bowl 41. Uh, only person who picked the Bears was Drew. Everyone else picked the Colts. Um, this is a, I, I don't think it should be 5-1 to one on, like, the Colts picks versus the Bears picks because the Colts don't look that good this year. People are, people are hyping up Anthony Richardson even after he, he completed less than 50% of his passes in game one. I, was, I felt like I was the only one who said he played mid. Everyone else said he played outstanding. He had a couple touchdowns, a bomb, 60 yards, 50 yards, whatever. I do not care. He is mid. But, yeah, I don't know why five people picked the Colts, including me. Next game, Steelers and Chargers. Only person who picked the Chargers, and I think this is the first time this person has only has been the only one to pick the a team was Tyler. He's the only he's the only one to pick the Chargers. Uh, this could go either way. It's two two and teams that are really overachieving. 
They played bad teams. And I have a bet. Um, I, I, I don't think I regret it just yet, but if, if the Steelers win this game, I'll start reconsidering, even though I still don't believe they'll get 13 wins. But I made a bet with my uncles. If the Steelers can get 13 wins this season, I will get a Justin Fields tattoo. I will get a full jersey of Justin Fields, the full uniform, and I'll also go to the Steelers game at some point in the future. But that's if they get 13 wins. So hopefully they don't get 13. So I really don't want to do that. Next game, Seahawks and Dolphins. Everyone picked the Seahawks, and that's because everyone's assuming two is not going to play this week because of his concussion. Uh, yeah, it's that's that's pretty reasonable, I would say. Skylar Thompson sucks. Next game. Okay, uh, Panthers versus Raiders. Um. There's two people who picked the Panthers, and that's, that's pretty crazy, even, even saying it. Two people picked the Panthers who might go 0-17. But I am one of those people who picked the Panthers. Because Bryce Young just got benched a couple days ago. Which is incredible. It is incredible. Uh, Andy Dalton will be starting, and that's why me and Richie, who Richie has picked the Panthers all three weeks. That's probably why he's in, uh, in, in the bottom two right now, in the full standings. But yeah, both of us picked the Panthers. Everyone else, that is my mom, Drew, Judd, and Tyler. Uh, they all picked the Raiders. Next game, the 1-1 one one 49ers versus the Rams. I never thought I'd say the 49ers are 1-1 one one to start the season. But uh, yeah, for some reason, two people picked the Rams. Uh, I don't know if this is a, a, you know, a hate pick. If they're just hating on the 49ers because they know they're going to win the Super Bowl. So, everyone else picked the 49ers except for Judd and Drew. They, they think they're funny. I don't think they realize Cooper Cup is out. And Pukunuku. And, and like three other wide receivers or like running backs or whatever. So, that's not going to happen. Next game, Lions versus Cardinals. The only person who picked the Cardinals was, again, Tyler. Uh... I, I I don't know why he picked the Cardinals. Usually, usually he doesn't pick upsets. Usually he does not pick upsets, so that's pretty strange. But yeah, everyone else picked the Lions. I mean, this is. I mean, the Lions should win this game. The, the Lions should win this game. And now for maybe the most exciting game of the week, even though the Cowboys got uh, destroyed by 25 against the Saints, too. I still am not convinced that they're good. Uh, I, I, I'm not convinced the Saints are good, but yeah. Uh, next game, Ravens and Cowboys. The only person who picked the Cowboys is uh, Richie. And I, I don't hate the pick. It is a good value pick because if, if the Cowboys do win, he'll be the only one to get that right and he'll be up one on everybody for that game. So the value's, the value's there. It's just, will it happen? No. Next game, the Kansas City refs versus the Atlanta Falcons. The only person who picked the Falcons was Judd. Only person. Uh... And he, he told me yesterday, as of when I'm recording this, which is on a Tuesday, he told me this yesterday that he was going to come back. Uh, right now, he's down nine games from first place. Uh, and if, if you're making picks like this, where you're picking the Falcons over the the, uh, the refs, the, the Chiefs, if you guys don't know, uh, you're not going to come back. It's just not going to happen. So, I don't know if he was... If he was... You know, I, I actually don't know what he was doing. I, I couldn't even make a guess. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely not coming back. You can mark my words. You can come back to this video when the season's over, if you want. And you'll see that I said this and I was right, like always. Uh, yeah, everyone else picked the Chiefs or the, or the refs. Kansas City refs, whatever. But. Next game, Jaguars and Bills. And the only person who picked the Jaguars was me. Me, Analyst KB, Chief Analyst, Big KB, Agent KB, whatever you want to call me, I was the only one to pick the Jaguars. Uh, the Jaguars just tend to play good in primetime games against the Bills specifically, and the Bills don't really play that good in primetime games, I won't lie. Uh, they played good last week in primetime, but this week it's against the Jaguars. The Jaguars usually beat the Bills. So I, I, I went through the data at this one, and I think I'll go up on every single person for this pick. And it's the first of uh, two uh, Monday Night Doubleheaders. And for the final game, uh, Bengals and Commanders. The only person who picked the Commanders was Drew. Uh, I really don't have much to say other than, Drew, you're in uh, third place right now. I, I guess fourth. 
but me and my mom are tied for second. But yeah, you, you're te you're te you're technically in third place right now. I don't know why you're ruining your chances of winning this low competition by picking the commanders, the commies, the uh, co the, the communists, whatever you want to call them. Why'd you pick them? It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, disgusting pick. And that is it, everyone. That is week three of NFL predictions. I will be back next week. And I I said it at the end of last week's video that I was going to make around on Tyler. And I did. And in the video next week, same time next week, you'll see me announce to the world that I will be in first place. And that will carry on until the end of the season. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a great day. Goodbye. I'm the best.